Cindy, well, we have the road blocked off here right now in Saco. I'm standing at the corner of Store and Main Street. This standoff has been going on now for about six hours here. You can see it happening behind me here right on Lincoln Street. We've got a swarm uh, of law enforcement officers here. The tactical teams are out. You can hear negotiators uh, talking to the, the man inside the home. Um, there was even a loud blast here earlier. Uh, we're not sure if it was tear gas or something else. Uh, but again, details from police at this time, very, very limited. We spoke to a man named Robert McNinch. He says he's actually the brother-in-law of the man inside the home that police are surrounding. He says this whole thing stemmed from something that happened in Connecticut in the 90s. He says his brother-in-law was part of an armed robbery and either missed a probation hearing or violated his probation in some way which prompted police to show up to the house earlier today and then of course now the standoff. Uh, McNinch says his brother-in-law is a great guy. He's lived here in Saco for about 20 years. However, the family is not happy with how police have handled this entire situation saying it never should have gotten this out of hand. There's no guns in the house at all. There's a BB gun in the shed that's locked up and I think that's where they came up with, you know, there's a gun. So now they get machine guns and whatever. You know, looks like a military operation going on. So again, we are at an active standoff here in Saco. Uh, areas of Main Street and Lincoln Street are going to be very restricted here for the for the remainder of the evening, or I should say until the standoff is over. So if you're in the area, definitely avoid it at this time. I will have all updates for you on air and online as they become available. And of course, we'll have the very latest for you tonight on New Center Main at 11. Cindy, oh, back to you. Sam, thank you so much.